Hello, this is Donna Abreu from Insta PPC Builder. Now in this video, I want to review a trick, a way to trick your Google AdWords campaign. This is a very effective strategy and what it does is it helps you with your history. Now remember history is very important to your quality score, history and relevancy. Actually, it really this trick really applies to both history and relevancy. But the trick here is to bid high at first and then slowly lower your bid. Now I'm going to give you the specifics of this strategy. But what this does is gives you a high click-through rate or high meaning somewhere above 1% from the very beginning of the of your campaign from the very instant your campaign starts getting impressions and what you need what you really want is to have this high click-through rate and you want to maintain a high click-through rate because then Google will see your ads as highly relevant over time that's where the history comes in so you want highly high relevancy over time and one way to show Google demonstrate that is by having a high click-through rate from the very beginning and maintaining that. So what we're going to do is trick the system. It's not really a trick, it's just going by their rules, but um, it's giving them exactly what they're looking for. So we are going to place a high bid on our keywords. Remember, everything's on a keyword level. Now don't forget to set a daily budget, a daily limit you you know now and you don't have to go as extreme as ten dollars per click but let's just say the keyword you're going after is running about a dollar per click then you would want to set it high let's say two or three dollars and make sure you have that daily budget and limit in there so that your campaign doesn't take off and um, cost you a lot of money unnecessarily so have the daily limit and make sure you monitor this campaign uh, frequently at the beginning. So set your uh, your bid at three dollars which is high and what this is going to do is give you top position immediately because you're bidding a lot higher than anybody else. So when a campaign first starts out Google doesn't have a quality score to go by. They don't have history, they don't have relevancy um, and so they just give you the top position. It's kind of like your grace period. They will give you a good position just based on your bid for the first couple of days. And then once things start happening, then they're going to look at your performing your performance of your ads and thus start establishing a, a quality score. So if you set your bid high from the very beginning, you'll get top position. And when you have top position, you are going to get clicks. Now, just a side note that normally you do not want the first position in on the Google page because when you are in the first or second position, you are going to get on this, you know, clicks that are not relevant, clicks from people who are just surfing around, clicking on the first thing they see, and they don't really they're not really not interested in what you have to offer. So normally we want to be in the positions between 3 and five, perhaps six. Those are the best positions to be in. But at the very cup, first couple of days of your campaign, you want to be in that top position so that you will get a lot of clicks because that's going to drive up your click-through rate. No matter how bad your ad is or how bad your quality score is, you're going to get the clicks. It'll bring up your click-through rate. So right from the get-go, you'll have a high click-through rate. And like I said, even if you did bid, bid $10 per click, you're not going to pay $10 per click. That's just your maximum. Google is going to charge you the, the, the maximum. You know, it's going to consider your bid as the highest, but it'll only charge you a few cents above what the next highest bid is. So let's say um, you get charged $3.05 in this example, uh, where, you know, in this example, we talked about $3 as your as your first bid but let's just say you put ten dollars in or five and the top bid under you is only at three dollars so Google's going to charge you three dollars and five cents actually let me correct that the top bid in this case would be three dollars and four cents Google only charges you one penny over the top bid 
So you should always go in one cent increments, not in five cent increments. So let's say that um, you are now going to be paying five, three dollars and five cents per click. So after a couple of days, then look at your average cost per click for the keywords or for the um, for the ad group as a whole. And assuming that all the keywords have the same bid for that entire ad group, then look at your average cost per click and then lower your bid to that average cost per click. So um, your average cost per click in this example was three dollars and five cents. So now you're going to lower your bid from 10 or from 5 to $3.05. Then Google is going to reward you because you are maintaining a high click-through rate. So they're actually going to end up lowering your average cost per click. So after a couple more days, a few more days, then you want to go again and look at what your average cost per click is now. It's going to be a little lower. Let's say it's $2.54. Then you want to lower your bid to $2.54. And you keep repeating this process until you get into the position that you want. And while you're doing this, you will be maintaining a high click through rate, and therefore your quality score is going to continue to increase. Now, while you're doing this entire process, you also want to be working on your ads. So always have two ads going so that you can split test to see which is the better of the two ads. Eliminate the worst of the two after every few days and then you know make a new test. Your, your good ad now becomes the base. Now you can make a little change um, on that ad to start split testing the, the ad again. So you're going to be optimizing in many different areas during this process. but. You definitely want to follow this strategy to get a, a very good quality score for your campaign. So I hope that this tip and strategy helped you. Go back and learn how to use the AdWords Editor tool so you can start your campaigns over, the ones that are just not performing for you, and, um, and use this strategy. And I, you will be surprised at how well it works. Stay tuned for more tips. I'm going to share another secret tip with you on how to optimize your campaigns, and you're going to love this one. So stay tuned for future videos. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Donna Abreu from Insta PPC Builder, signing out.